Now, uh, concerning killing, yeah, killing of course is a, is a very very serious sin. Allah subhanahu wa taala says in the Quran, "وَمَن يَقْتُلْ مُؤْمِنًا مُتَعَمِّدًا فَجَزَاؤُهُ جَهَنَّمُ خَالِدًا فِيهَا." Whoever kills a believer, mutaammid means on purpose, so not accidental killing, not self-defense, but on purpose. You go and you kill a believer, your recompense, what you will get, فَجَزَاؤُهُ جَهَنَّمُ you will get the hellfire when Ayyadu Billah, Jahannam, which is the lowest level of the hellfire. So, Khalidan Fiha, to abide in it forever. This is for killing a believer on purpose. You will get Jahannam to live in it forever, to abide in it forever. Khalidan Fiha, wa ghadiballahu alayhi. And Allah will be angered with him. Wa la'anahu, and Allah will curse him as well. And being cursed, and the la'na, means to be sent away from Allah's mercy in this life and in the next life. So Allah will be angered with this person in this life and in the next. He will curse him, he will be sent away from his mercy in this life and in the next. And Allah will prepare um, a great torment for this individual. This is for killing a believer on purpose. And the Prophet wasallam, in the greatest gathering in the history of humanity, in his farewell, Khutbah, in his, in his Hajj, he mentioned the sanctity and the life of the life of the believer. And he said, it is like the sanctity of this day of yours. يومكم هذا في شهركم هذا يعني in this month of yours, in this day of yours, and in this land of yours. يعني the sanctity of the Haram and the sanctity of the month of Hajj and in the day of Hajj. Yeah, What, the, what great sanctity? That's like the sanctity of the Muslim life. And yet you see the Muslim life now being taken left and right by non-Muslims. And we just see images of dead Muslims all over the news and, and so on on the internet. Or by Muslims themselves killing one another. Or uh, type. Uh, and that's why the Prophet wasallam he gave instructions on uh, when it comes to fitan. And uh, as the Prophet ﷺ, fitan, but trials, tribulations, difficulties. So he mentioned, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned uh, fitan, uh, fitna, strong fitna, difficult, difficult, uh, I mean, excuse me, difficult trial or tribulation, in which al-qa'idu fiha khayrun min al-qa'im. The one that is sitting is better than the one that is standing. And these fitan happen, if you're sitting, you're better than the one who is standing. Wal-qa'imu khayrun min al-mashi, and the one that is standing is better than the one that is walking. And the one that is walking is better than the one that is uh, a sa'i, that someone that's either walking fast or someone that's out there uh, seeking something. Okay? So then the Prophet says, فَإِنْ أَدْرَكْتَ ذلك. So if you live to see that, these fit and these times, فَكُنْ عَبْدَ اللَّهِ الْمَقْتُولِ Be the killed servant of Allah. He's saying, don't be the killer. In another uh, addition, يعني, and do not be the killing uh, slave of Allah. يعني, be the one that is killed, and do not be the one that is the killer. So the Prophet mentioned very difficult fitan, trials and tribulations that are going to come, and he mentioned that the one, the one that is walking or sitting will be better than the one standing, the one standing better than the one that's walking. All this, according to Imam al-Shawkani, is to show us this wording, to show us the dangers of fitan, and to encourage us to stay away from them. So if you're standing, you're more closer to jumping into action and to going somewhere than if you're sitting. So the more you're far removed away from the action and from uh, from the fitna, you are, the better. And that's why the Prophet said the one sitting is better than the one standing, the one standing better than the one walking, and so on and so forth. So be the servant of Allah that is killed, and rather than the one that is killing, doing the killing. A world of knowledge awaits you. Enroll now at almaghrib.org.